What's up everyone and yes, today is a very special episode. A lot of you may be tuning in because today I am announcing the winners of the gear giveaway contest. I'll be getting into who the winners are in just one second, but before then, I just want to say a couple quick words. This gear is really special to me because it's traveled with me all around the world, and I've been lucky enough to use it on some really cool projects. I've been fortunate enough to make photography and videography my full-time career, and I feel really thankful for that. I was able to start my career after graduating college. I had an internship in New York City where I was filming for the Food Network. I would actually travel to different restaurants within New York and just film the food for the Food Network. This was a pretty cool job, I wasn't getting paid for it, but more importantly, it wasn't fulfilling me creatively. So what I decided to do was on the weekends, I would go to local concert venues and make friends with the bouncers. I would sneak into the concerts, I'd film some of the artists that I really liked, and at the end of the show, I would go up to the manager and say, hey, I filmed the show and make a really cool edit of the concert. If you like it and decide to use it, you don't have to pay me, just say Taylor Cut Films made it. This is kind of how I got my name out there. Music was one of the main things that drove me as a visual artist. Every time I would hear a song, I would picture visuals to it. I knew this is something that I wanted to do full time. Luckily, I caught a break with this artist named Chris Cab, who at the time was signed to Pharrell. He ended up going on tour with T-Pain and Gym Class Heroes, and I went on tour with them. This was my first major tour, and I learned a lot on the road. Luckily, when I got back from tour, I caught the eyes of a producer out in LA who said that Usher was going to be in town in New York and needed someone to film him for three days. I said absolutely yes. I ended up filming him for a couple days while he was starring in an off-Broadway show. And as soon as that ended, he turned to me and said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, I got nothing going on. He said he had Saturday Night Live and if I wouldn't mind coming to film him there. I said, absolutely. At the end of Saturday Night Live, he turned to me and said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, I got nothing. He goes, all right, we got to go to Vegas for the Billboard Awards. Do you mind coming? I said, yeah, 100%. I ended up going with him to Vegas. At the end of that, he said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, nothing. He said, all right, I have a show in London for Amex on stage. Do you mind coming and filming that? I said, yeah, 100%. Long story short, I ended up touring with Usher for nearly three years. While with him, I was shooting his photos and videos for his social media his tour content, music videos, album artwork. I learned so much on the road, and more importantly, I learned what I love to do. Since then, I've been lucky enough to work with artists such as Justin Bieber, Martin Garrix, Jennifer Lopez, most recently, The Chainsmokers. I've been blessed to make this my full-time living, and I know a lot of other people want to make photography and videography their full-time career as well. I've been reading all your guys' comments, looking through all of your likes, listening to all of your stories, and I gotta tell you, hearing it is absolutely amazing. It makes me so happy to hear that even one of my videos can be an inspiration for you guys and I would love nothing more than to be able to give you some of my gear that has treated me so well and hopefully it can help you guys in return. Before I announce the winners, I want to say that this isn't going to be the last giveaway I'm going to do. So if I don't call your name, please don't be upset. I still see all of your likes, I still see all of your comments, I appreciate the support so much. And as I keep accruing more gear, I hope to do more giveaways like this to help out you guys. I don't see you guys as followers. I don't see you guys as fans. I see you guys as friends and family, and I want to help you out any way I can. I'm going to continue to make tutorials, keep posting new videos on my YouTube channel every single Sunday, continue to give out gear. As I grow, hopefully I can help you guys grow as well. I see photography and videography as a community. This is an art. We do this because we love it. It's not just a one-way street. Before I announce who the winners are, a lot of you have been asking what type of gear I currently use, what I carry in my camera bag when I go on the road. So I'm gonna show you what type of gear I bring with me when I travel. As you can see, this is my typical venue for making tutorials. That's because I'm not currently home right now. I am in Mexico with Alyssa. We are working on a brand campaign with a hotel company called Charisma Hotels. I'll be posting a super cool vlog and video edit next Sunday on my YouTube channel of our trip here. Since I'm on the road right now, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you what I have in my camera bag and what I always bring with me in order to shoot. So let me quickly show you what gear I have in my camera bag, what I always bring with me, and what necessities I need on the road. This is my camera bag. It's a standard size backpack, it fits in overhead compartments, and it's perfect for taking on hikes or any type of adventures. This thing has literally been through hikes in Hawaii, snowstorms in Vancouver and Montana. It can get through anything. Another thing which is really nice about this bag, it has a dedicated zipper pouch for your laptop. The way it opens is from the back, and here's my camera gear. All right, let's start with the camera. What I'm shooting with right now is the EOS Canon 1DX Mark II. I really love this thing because as you may know, I do both photo and video, and this is an all-in-one camera for me. 
I love doing slow motion and it does 4K 60 and it also does 1080 120 which is what I shoot with most of the time. It has a really fast shutter so I'm able to capture high motion photography really easily and it's easy just to sling around my shoulder and carry anywhere. I'm really loving this camera. Probably the lens that I use the most is this Canon 24-70 f2.8. This thing has been everywhere with me. If you're wondering why it has this band around it, no it's not for style. It's just from years of being in the heat, this rubber part has literally melted off. So this band is keeping it together. This is a perfect length for me, 24 is nice and wide, I can zoom in on 70 and it gives me enough length that I can use it for day to day running and gunning. Next I have the Canon 100mm macro. I pretty much shot my entire India video on this thing. It has such a shallow depth of field, it gives it such a unique magical aspect to it. When I go and get those close up of Alyssa's eyes, this is what I shoot it with. When I want to capture really fine details like wind blowing blades of grass, this is what I go with. This lens has such a unique style that it gives your video such a unique look. I don't go anywhere without it. Next, this is a more recent purchase, but one of my favorites. It's a 24mm Sigma, and it drops down to a 1.4. I've used this a lot since being in Mexico because I never really had a wide-angle low-light lens. My 24-70, which you just saw, is an f2.8, and my 100mm macro is a 2.8 also. This 24mm, since it could drop down to a 1.4, really allows me to bring it out at night where there's low lighting and be able to capture everything the way I wanted to. 1.4 is also amazing because when I'm doing close-ups of filming Alyssa or things like that and there's lights in the background, you get an incredible bouquet where the lights are blurry in the background. I opted to get a Sigma lens instead of Canon because one, it's less pricey which is always nice and also the art series lenses that they make are super high quality. This is my primary wide angle lens, the Canon 16-35 f2.8 and this is the third version so it's their newest version of the lens. I previously owned the version 2, which is one of the lenses I'm actually giving away, and this is just such a great wide-angle lens. When I'm using my DJI Ronin as a steady cam, this is the lens that I throw on the camera. Next is the 50mm 1.2 by Canon. A 50mm length is equivalent to what the normal human eye sees. It's incredibly good in low light, and it also gives you an amazing shallow depth of field. This is pretty much my go-to lens as soon as the sun sets. Next is the GoPro Hero 5. As you may know, this casing is waterproof, so you don't have to have a case for it, which is amazing. It also has a built-in touchscreen. I love using a GoPro because if you're doing any adventurous stuff like going underwater, riding jet skis, this is the best camera to use. Alyssa and I just went ATVing and jet skiing the other day, and this is the only camera that I brought. It's amazing also because you could set up video time lapses, photo time lapses, and night photography as well. Next is a little camera accessory. These are LED fairy lights that I always bring with me. I use this in the New York City video edit when Alyssa is holding one end of it and I'm holding the other. It gives it amazing bouquet. This is a great thing to carry around to spice up not only video but photos as well. Another accessory I always use is a gorilla pod. This is a bendy tripod which I use all the time. In case I need to set up a time lapse or something that I need a tripod but there's rough terrain, I can wrap this around edges, I can wrap it around rocks. It's super handy and slides right into the side of my backpack. Okay, so now for the moment a lot of you have been waiting for. Time to announce the giveaway winners. As I mentioned before, the gear that I'm giving away isn't just going to one winner. I want to try to help out as many people as possible, so I'm going to spread it out to eight different people. Guys, I was blown away. There was over 30,000 comments across all of my social media. I read through as many as I could, looked at your guys' stories, and I think I narrowed it down to some people that hopefully it will help out. Like I said, this isn't the last time I'm going to be doing something like this. So if I don't call your name, don't let that discourage you. I'm going to continue to do more gear giveaway and continue to post more tutorials to help you out as best as I can. Without any further ado, here are the eight winners of the giveaway. And yeah! And the first winner of the gear giveaway is Mika Kose. The second winner in the gear giveaway is Samuel W. Olson. The third winner in the gear giveaway is Sebastian Carreno. The fourth winner in the gear giveaway is Kyle Thomas. The fifth winner in the gear giveaway is Sayan Sharma. And I'm so sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. The sixth winner in the gear giveaway is Madison Kessel. The seventh winner in the gear giveaway is Alex Fernet. And last but not least, the eighth and final winner of the gear giveaway is Hannah Hernandez. And there you have it. I love all you guys so much for supporting. Thank you so much for commenting, for liking the photos. I'm going to continue to do more giveaways for you guys, continue to post more tutorials, and most importantly, continue to make cool videos, and hopefully that will inspire you guys to go out and make videos of your own. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting, and like always, I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget, we're all just one big yes with a side of yes and a sprinkle of yes. Don't know why I'm doing jazz hands. It feels right. Oh,